here. We have enough abundant low-cost power to clean up whatever needs to be cleaned up on this planet, whether it be the soil or the water in our rivers, which could be cleaned up by some of the hydrogen-related technologies. And we'll have a, a prosperous economy, both regionally and nas nationally, internationally, when, when this is all allowed to blossom and flourish, so that we can afford to have people working at jobs that are for the benefit of all. They're cleaning up the environment and feeding the hungry. Problems that society has that are to do with behavior rather than technology, as you know. Um, but a technology that's working in harmony with nature and providing an abundant source of, of clean, low-cost power to do work for the people of the planet is a way out of the situation that we're in now because it will no longer be possible to convince people that we have to fight oil wars. It'll be no longer possible to convince people that we have to build nuclear power plants so we have no other option. This is all untrue. And when the truth comes out, then so many things that are done in the name of we have no choice, we have no option, we have to keep on drilling for oil, will be shown to be nonsense. And what it will require is for the people to get involved and, and make sure that we do have a higher civilization created with the powerful new energy technologies and that they're used for the good that they're used to clean up the air so that we can go jogging down a city street past all sorts of transport, whatever we're using for transport without ch coughing and choking, that, that the air will be clean as it is in this beautiful forest anywhere. And that we won't have to have the forests cut down for some of the things that they're being cut down for now because with uh, some of the new energy technologies it's possible to create new materials. In the field that's uh, been discounted as cold fusion have also shown transmutations of elements and so the, this just opens up the possibilities of a civilization that's creating its buildings out of materials that may be beautiful and translucent and colored whatever and strong earthquake proof, whatever we need, whatever we want, whatever we can imagine, whatever the most visionary architects can build without cutting down trees. Um, there are so many things that are possible with new energy technology used wisely and we could eventually travel to the stars. It's not a cure-all and it's not going to happen overnight. I'm sure that we're going through some Chaotic, chaotic times and they're not going to end immediately. Uh, but if people can just hold the vision and work toward a united human family that's going to be so determined to use new technologies wisely because the old, the old greed-based decisions have made such a mess of our planet, that's what it's going to take to, to build a higher civilization is enough people who are just so fed up with what's been happening that they're going to say this is this is where we're going to take a stand and take action and make sure that we're res responsible members of the human family that we're going to be we're all going to to pay attention to energy technologies and not consider that it's just a field that belongs to the guys with the hard hats and, and the, the experts in the academic ivory, to ivory towers and the uh, corporate decision makers and the government decision makers. Um, you know, we've, we've just kind of passed it off and passively lived our lives as if it's all being taken care of. Well, it's been taken care of for the benefit of a relatively small group of people on this planet who are financially benefiting from the polluting energy technologies. And I think the, the grassroots realization that ha that has to stop is building to the point where enough people, a critical mass of people, will and are standing up for positive change and for taking responsibility.